leader in Chinese sports medicine and speaker at Harvard Medical School, the international best-selling author of Heal Your Concussion, Dr. Joni Liu. Raise your hand if any of you have ever asked, why is this happening to me? Raise your hand. Oh, yeah, I totally get it. Sometime after the birth of our youngest child, my husband and I had a serious discussion. I didn't want to be on the pill anymore, and we didn't want any more children. So we made a decision that he would go in for a vasectomy. So it was done. But sometime later, I found out I was pregnant. And it was at the worst time, because I just started a new job. So we already had two little boys that we loved so much, but we knew deep down that we couldn't financially and emotionally support another child. And so we made the most difficult decision ever. We decided to have an abortion. And when I got to the hospital, the nurses were so great because they know just how hard it is for a married woman who already has children, who already knows what it's like to have a family, to terminate a pregnancy. So it was done. But later that week, I thought, I still feel pregnant. And a walk-in clinic confirmed my worst fears. And I asked out of the blue, is it a boy or a girl? A girl. And, and I said to my doctor, I always wanted a daughter. Is it possible for me to go on with this pregnancy? No, Joni, this baby is damaged. You don't want to bring a damaged baby into this world. Other women have made this choice. And they live with regret and worse every single day. So I couldn't go back. I went on with the second procedure. And then I buried the story. I buried it for 25 years. And because of that, I'd lost an entire year. It was the worst year of my life because it was also the year that I had my cancer scare. But it was also the best year of my life because it led me to what I do today. Because several years later, I stopped being a professional engineer. I went back to school to study Chinese medicine. And I started my practice. Then I got really interested in the brain and the mind. And I saw the connection between all three of these things. And out of that, I created a comprehensive healing process. Then in 2012, my son Nolan has such a severe concussion that it temporarily blinded him. But because of what I was already doing, I would led him back to a full recovery in a short time, which I've done for many others since then too. He also inspired me to write my three books. I couldn't repair the damage that I did to my little girl. But it has led me to my purpose by making mental health and human potential the primary focus of medicine throughout the world because it is your thoughts and your feelings which create your actions, which create the results that you have in your life. Concussions, just like every affliction that mankind has today, is due to all this. Everyone who has a concussion has a different concussion. And so cookie cutter methods don't work. And if you have more than one concussion, it's because you haven't healed the first one yet. You know, I never thought that I'd be doing any of this because when I was a little kid, I shared one bedroom with my two younger brothers and my parents who ran a Chinese laundry in the front of our home. And yet I've had the great privilege of sharing my message on Fox, NBC, CTV, Global TV, the Harvard Club of Boston with Caitlyn Jenner, yes, that Caitlyn, and, 
and Harvard Medical School. So negativity, whether it's buried or conscious, is really hard on you because it causes stress. And stress is extremely hard on the brain and the mind. So I want you to go to concussionanswers.com. Look for Remove Negativity Tool. Sign up, download it, and start safeguarding your brain and your mind. But I want to tell you this, it's only just the beginning. Thank you very much for listening to my message of repairing and healing damaged brains. Thank you so much. Oh, <laughs>